Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn about the how to upload a document using the Ajax. So normally up to now we have, I have shown you the progress bar, right? So when we are trying to download the response from the HTTP server, so I have shown you the progress bar. So how we can the download progress, how we can calculate it, I have shown you. So if you are trying to upload a file, so normally you will be able to see in some websites or any applications, you will be uploading a video, you will be uploading an image, you will be uploading your profile pic. So like this you will be uploading and that one will be showing your progress for that. It's uploading 100%, 1%, 2%, like that. It will be showing you the uploading progressing. So how we can do this one using the Ajax? Let's try to see this one. So normally here I'm having an upload folder. I'm creating one folder and in this one I have added one video file and here I am creating one new file upload.html. Okay, so this is the HTML file. And here we are having one HTML code. And in this one, I will be creating one div. One div. And here input type is equal to file. Okay, input type is equal to file. And here I will be having a script code. Okay. So in this script code, so input type is equal to file. So I took the file. So let's try to see the output here. So we will be having this output, right? Let's try to check the output. Yeah, here. What is this HTML? Yeah. So here we are able to see the choose file. So now I can upload the file. So here I can go to the D drive. So here you'll be having the projects and in this projects you can go to the CSS and here this is the upload folder and this is the upload file. So I'm able to upload successfully this file. Now I need to show the progress how much exactly it has been uploaded. So how can we show? <clears throat> so here let's try to take this file. So let file upload is equal to document dot get element by tag name of input i am taking the input and i am taking the first element so as this one gives an html collection so this is the file upload and here i can write file upload dot add event listener of so here i need to use the change event i know you should not use the click event why because so whenever the file has been changed so that file has been uploaded that means the file status has been changed so we need to listen to the file upload so here i am calling one method upload so here i am writing function upload so here you will be getting an event event so now we got this one so here we need to capture the file how we can capture the file so we have a file api system just like the dom api in javascript in browser so you will be having a file api so for that file api file selected so or otherwise i will try to show you console.log these dot files so you can check it with that these dot files if you see the output how it will look like is so this is the thing and if i refresh and if i upload this file see here you will be able to get a file list the file list and in this file list you will be having the first one is the file so this is the first file so here the selected file will be so for let file selected will be this dot files of zero so remember what is this refers to the this refers to the <clears throat> file upload file upload means this is nothing but this one so if you want you can also use directly this dot file upload dot file so here console.log if i show you file selected then also you'll be able to see the same output okay if i try to upload the same file then also we are able to see the same file okay so without any problem now we got the file so now i need to show when I, when we are trying when we are trying to submit this file to the server we need to show that how much progress the file has been uploaded as this one is a very big file right so now let's create an xhr object so let xhr is equal to new xml http request okay let's console the xhr so we need to console the xhr so that we can see what are the available methods available in the xhr if i try to upload this file so this is xml http request object and if this one if you try to see at the bottom you'll be able to see one property it's an upload and again it is of type html xml http request upload in this one again you are having some methods and in this method you'll be able to see on progress right so this one is this this event listener represents the upload on progress so what i can do here so here i can write something like xhr dot upload dot on progress is equal to 
is a event function okay it will have an event and we need to console dot log of event so console dot log of sorry console dot log of event and we need to get a connection xhr dot open so i will be creating the post connection so i will be giving you some fake url why because uh, we, we, do, we don't want to bother about the url and here i will be trying to send xhr dot send okay so this is the thing now if you try to see the output how it will be so we need to send this one file selected right so we need to send the data also so here this is the file selected which we are trying to send it so now choose file and here i am trying to do see we are able to see some progress okay so it is trying to upload it so now at last we got some progress file so this is the progress event and here you'll be able to see the total file size is this one the loaded file size is this one so what can you do here so we can show okay we can show let percent loaded is equal to event dot loaded divided by event dot total okay so this is the event dot loaded event dot total into 100 and also let's close this one and here i am closing this one dot to fixed of two and here i will console uh, i will try to use the template literal so here uploaded mm, dollar percent loaded percentage of 100 percent so like this so now if you try to see so let's try to upload the same file which is a pretty very big size see it is trying to upload so 98 100 100 like this it is going on uploading so we are able to get the uploaded of 100 percent like this we can use the upload method like this so now i can also use something like xhr dot upload dot load in so we can use upload dot on load in right so on load in so we can use something like console dot log upload completed okay so this is the upload completed now if you try to see the output if i try to paste it here and here you'll be able to get 100 percent and upload completed we are able to get it so this is how we can use this upload thing okay so upload ajax xx xhr object to progress to track the progress of the upload so here what we are trying to do we are trying to take the input file and we are checking the upload dot on progress and we are checking that whether the file media file is here how much percent this is getting uploaded so this is how we can do it so it's very pretty simple right so we can so a lot of the people don't know about this process so how we can track the percentage of the uploaded file so this one is a pretty simple process and we can do it where in the fetch api it is very difficult for us to do implement this one so it is not available and also we need to use the third party libraries like that so hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any sessions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you